It gives you a great honor to be part of something like this. Being honored, being moved, being proud. I'm biking today for my brother Adam. I'm riding for Baby Maddox. And you have riders that, you know, some of them will come up to me and say, I'm riding for your daughter. Involvement with the community and the support and the hope that you get families. The kids' faces light up, all the signs, everything makes it so enjoyable. It's about raising awareness and the biggest thing is it's the hope for the families. In those moments I remember them when I said, I'm here for you, I love you, I will never stop. Hello, I'm John Clark, President and CEO of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I want to say thank you for being part of the Miles for Hope. There is nothing more important than the health and safety of your family. And during this COVID era, many of us are spending more time at home. Our kids are spending more time in front of those computer screens. And more screen time means that the risk to their online safety goes up and we have to be even more vigilant against those who seek to harm our kids. So with Miles for Hope, you're helping us call attention to the importance of child safety, but in a fun way with other families and communities all across America. With this event, we're all bound together by a singular mission, to make our children safer one child at a time. Your participation will make a direct impact in the fight to bring missing kids home and help protect children online. Let's keep the momentum going through September. And please let your family and friends know they can still join you because every dollar raised and every mile towards awareness matters. And once again, a big thank you for being part of Miles for Hope. I want you to enjoy it and have fun and please stay safe. Hi, my name is Saya Rivasfar. And I am Ahmad Rivasfar, Saya's dad. We started riding the Missing Children Ride in 1998, and we haven't stopped yet. Thank you for recognizing that the pandemic hasn't stopped children from being victimized. And thank you for standing up against that and standing up for hope. I ride because every child deserves a safe and secure childhood, because these efforts make our country a safer place one child at a time, to bring safety awareness to the children at the many schools we visit along the way. You're also sending a message, an important message out to those who want to hurt our children, that we are here and we are not going to let you continue to do this. And your participation, whether it's small or large, whatever you do, I thank you because it means so much to me as I know it means so much to other people as well. It's about raising hope, raising awareness, raising dollars, raising prevention efforts so that all of our kids can grow up safe. Hey everyone, I'm Callahan Walsh from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Now many of you may know my father, John Walsh, from his television show, America's Most Wanted. And in fact, we currently have a show together on investigation discovery called In Pursuit. Now my family's advocacy work began after my six-year-old brother, Adam, was abducted and murdered in 1981. My mom and dad worked tirelessly to create the National Center some 36 years ago, and I'm honored to work at this incredible organization. So with that, I want to welcome you to Miles for Hope. This nationwide event was originally planned as a bike ride, originating in upstate New York. However, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, we had to unfortunately cancel those plans. So we reimagined what that event could be virtually. And now it's not just for riders. You can run, jog or swim. You can hike, kayak, even skip or jump rope. Be creative. Anything you can think of that gets you moving allows you to be part of Miles for Hope. Now, we're all here because we want to protect our children, but I think it's important for everyone to understand the history of this event and how that very first bike ride began back in 1995, all because of one child, a tribute to Sarah Ann Wood. 
Norwich Corners Church. That was the church where Sarah Ann Wood was visiting and her father was the pastor of the church. And she left that church on that August day in 1993, was pedaling her bicycle home, which is only about three quarters of a mile from the church. And that's where she was abducted. Two days later, on August 20th, 1993, I was introduced to Bob Wood, Sarah's dad. I shook Bob's hand, and little did I know that that handshake would lead to many, many years of participating in the ride for missing children. Early in 1995, Bob Wood decided he wanted to do a bicycle ride, a ride to honor his daughter Sarah's memory. He wanted to ride to Washington, D.C. to honor Sarah's memory and to raise awareness about the plight of missing and exploited children. He got together with a few friends and formed Sarah's team. The whole community embraced us and uh, it was all over the media that we were going to ride our bicycles to Washington, D.C. May 14th, 1995, it was Mother's Day. It was the very first day of Sarah's ride for missing children. Bob Wood said, okay, it's time to go. We got on our bikes, we headed east toward Albany. The excitement was building as we approached our goal, which is Washington, D.C., the steps of our nation's capital. When we got to Fort Lee, New Jersey, we found out that NYPD would be waiting for us on the other side of the George Washington Bridge. There was NYPD with a van, two policemen, and they said, follow us. Amazing. Everything stopped for Sarah's team. Sirens were blowing. Cars were stopped. We went through Central Park. I remember Bob Wood was alongside me. He said, wow. He said, Sarah would love this. He said, she'd be screaming and yelling. Wow, he said, this is some escort. Then before we knew it, it was National Missing Children's Day, May 25th, 1995. Early that morning, we approached the Capitol. And as we approached, we heard singing. That singing was coming from the entire sixth grade class from Thomas Jefferson School in North Utica. They had traveled there to be at the Capitol to meet us and greet us as we arrived. So this was born in the Search for Sarah, a grassroots organization now transitioned to an agency that has saved lives, it has kept children safe, and it has brought children home. So we're very proud of, uh, of our origin, of course, we're also very proud of what has happened here at the center and the awareness continues as we uh, keep our children safer, one child at a time. It really is amazing to think how all this started. There's so much history and so much meaning behind the ride. Those jerseys are teal and pink because those were Sarah's favorite colors. In fact, I, I have my jersey from when I participated. Those were also the colors that Sarah was wearing the day she was abducted. The bike rides have meant a lot to us here at the center, and this new event will help us reach even more people to help tell Sarah's story and the story of so many others. So don't forget to share safety tips from the tip of the day calendar and posters of missing kids from your own communities. We want to say thank you for being part of this important event. But we also want to thank our sponsors, including BME Office Systems and First Source Federal Credit Union. You have been tremendous supporters of our poster distribution program. Now, Facebook and Old Navy have been steadfast supporters of our national outreach efforts for years. And our signature sponsor for Miles for Hope, New York Sash. So here's a message from their president, Scott Hayes. Hi, I'm Scott Hayes from New York Sash. My family business has been serving this community for 31 years. We've been providing high quality home improvement products, whether it's windows, siding, and baths. We're so very proud to once again be part of the Ride for Missing Children. Though this year is very different, we all have a chance to participate in Miles for Hope and raise funds that will go towards our mission to keep our children safer one child at a time. There really are so many people to thank, but most of all, we want to thank you for being part of this incredible mission. So show us all the fun things you're doing out there by posting pictures and videos on social media and make sure you tag at Missing Kids with hashtag Miles for Hope 2020. And throughout the coming weeks, be on the lookout for more information on challenges and updates as well. 
we're also going to have a very special closing event called Hope Live, so stay tuned for that. Remember, it's never too late to join the fun, so let your family and friends know they can still register and help make a difference. Have a great time, everybody. Let's get moving.